Hey, what's up, everybody? John Scott here for Wrestle Line and uh, another daily podcast here with uh, lots of news coming out at the moment from WWE. We're going to literally be going over that in um, a few minutes or so. Um, top of the show, just want to let everybody know about our new sponsor to the show. This uh, show brought to you by 1310 Appeal. Um, great clothing brand. A lot of people, fans in the UK that would have been around on the um, independence would have noticed a lot of these t-shirts being worn by a lot of the wrestlers, athletes, sponsored athletes by 1310. Um, obviously, for people that watch WrestleLine, you'd have seen me in some of my videos on YouTube and uh, Instagram, um, some of the stuff that um, he has available i'm normally always in the uh top whenever it's uh whenever it's with me um and they're pretty cool and the stuff that you can get on there like he's got joggers coming out now um which is just like really really good quality it looks good and i uh, can't really say enough good things about it really to be honest with you and just for us and our listeners um, a really great bonus for you guys listening and a way to support us as well. Uh, 15% off your complete order for um, via via 10 appeal um, dot big cartel dot com. So let's go to 1310 appeal dot big cartel dot com. Check that out and use our promo code, our special promo code. All you got to type in is wrestle line to get 15% off your order. Uh, find 1310 Appeal on um, Twitter and Instagram. Their handle on uh, Twitter is at 1310app. And on Instagram, 1310appeal. So it's literally easy ways to find it out. Don't forget, if you just want to go onto like my Facebook page, I've posted loads of their stuff up there before and also on Instagram and uh, Twitter. So it's really easy to find. But yeah, really can't say enough good things about it. I've got something on order actually as we speak, kind of looking forward to getting it. And as, um, as soon as I get it, um, I'll literally post a picture. You guys can see how good it looks. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool products. Um, one of the things I'll just say just to end on this, because I don't want to sound like a complete like sales pitch that I'm making you get this stuff and this is the only stuff out there. But listen, one of the reasons I like it is because um, it's always nice when you can hear like the story of why the person that runs it kind of gets into it, why they do it. Um, and there's a really good story with this one, and that's kind of part of the reason. Like this guy who who does it is very passionate for what he does. It's not like a massive multi, you know, million pound company. This is a guy that actually takes a hands on approach to what he does. Very passionate about it, what he does, and you'll see that if you follow him on Instagram. So please check that out now. Go over to thirteen ten appeal. Um, okay, moving on with the uh, the show and the uh, stuff that's going to be coming up. I've I've uh, literally just confirmed a couple of interviews to uh, to be done. So I'm going to have like when I say interviews, not really interviews, just people that are coming on the podcast. But um, I'm going to have Mariah May. She is going to be coming on to the show, and that's going to be readily available. Probably, um, I'm trying to think now. Possibly. Either Saturday or Sunday. I'm not really sure which day that will go out. But it will go out on top of like the daily podcast as well. So um, yeah, you're, you're bound to get like a podcast from us. But it's going to be really good to have her on. Obviously, very, very big rising star in the UK. Can't wait to have her on, to be honest with you. Just to really have a chat. Um, obviously, we've, uh, we've we've had a bit of communication. And like literally, we're all in isolation at the moment. So you know, there's there's not a lot going on for a lot of the talents, so it's a great opportunity for me to uh, get some of these people on podcast, and uh, I'm going to try and reach out to a few more others as well, just to get a few more confirmed for the coming week, but let's get into today's daily podcast, shall we? So, WrestleMania has taken a yet another little bump in the road, it seems that Roman Reigns is not going to be participating in WrestleMania, um, this comes after reports suggesting that uh, Roman Reigns does not want to travel um, due to obviously his, uh, his his ongoing condition. Now, obviously, we all know about Roman Reigns with leukemia. Um, obviously, he's uh, you know quite a high risk of the coronavirus. So, I think at the moment, from what we're gauging here, the you know the sources that I'm getting. Um, 
Roman will not be wrestling Bill Goldberg for the uh, the Universal title. So it seems like Bill uh, Goldberg will now need to have another challenger. Now this um, obviously will be somewhat problematic in terms of how WWE deliver this. It's you know, it, it's one of those things. A lot of people, a lot of emails just coming in, actually, just before I did this, uh, put this, this show up, and they're all sort of saying, look, what's, why don't they just really take the stance now and just postpone this because this is just getting more and more, you know, kind of crazy as it goes. Um, and <clears throat> I think there is a part of me that <clears throat> kind of wishes that WWE would actually do that but i know that they're not going to do that um because like i said a few uh, episodes ago vince mcmahon he doesn't know <laughs> when to stop so that's not going to happen vince will find a way around this as he always does um suggestions triple h has names been thrown in there um, not really sure how i feel about that um, if I'm completely honest with you, like the, the the problem WWE have with this one is, it's like it it kind of devalues the title so much if you just put somebody else in. And the problem is we're putting somebody else in is that all the other big like main event hitters like Edge, Orton, um, AJ, Undertaker, John Cena, Bray Wyatt, like they're all locked in to other feuds so you can't really just take them out of that but they in in ideal terms they would be the next ones in line right but they're not gonna be so they've really got to think long and hard of what they do now with this now the suggestion i would maybe have is possibly having okay maybe the winner of bray and john cena um you know getting a match with goldberg possibly something like that but um is it ideal absolutely not um and you know there is no real sort of clear um answer to this i mean it's it's very difficult one could even say is there actually a point of having the match at all or like having the universal title defended and that is a very good point to to make it might be worth just having bill goldberg go out there just to spear somebody um listen we know wwe do that very well they they like the rock coming in every now and then at all these wrestlemanias just to squash somebody so what's the difference um i could see that potentially being maybe the best answer because if you have somebody come up from nowhere like at the mid card level just to wrestle Goldberg this one night it, it does seem to devalue what the title actually is although I really don't even rate the universal title that much anyway because it's just had such a I mean ever since it was created it's not been one of the ones that's um you know really <laughs> got that huge legacy I, I um I'm not massive for it and I think the fact that even though they put it on Brock for such a long time, it, it still didn't really seem to uh, to give it the, the status it needed. So, um, y- yeah, it, it's a difficult one. But look, WWE, they do have two world heavyweight champions, so it's not the end of the world. And also the fact that Drew McIntyre was the Royal Rumble winner. So I suppose coming from it from that point of view, it, it's not that bad. And listen, at the end of the day, this is only wrestling you know we got to, we have to put things in perspective here with everything like roman reigns's health is much more important than this match you know to be totally honest with you and and i think you know wwe need to be more and more uh careful with their talent during these uh testing times and um make sure that everybody is uh is going to be safe to work this now obviously the reports coming out that some of these matches have already been taped this is so fascinating to me because to tape wrestlemania matches in this day and age uh ready to be put out like not you know not even like in another seven days but like (laughs) the fourth and fifth of next week i mean it's just it's just crazy um how spoilers will be rampant about all this and obviously knowing the talent are, are going to be sitting at home from that point. Um, a lot of, lot of people saying that it's really taking them out of the moment. Obviously, I think most fans that are hardcore WWE fans will watch WrestleMania. But will it have the same feeling watching it 
like as a live spectacle or you know is it going to be one of those things now where you know it's taped you might as well just watch it when it's more convenient to you um i've got the feeling that if you're uk based that's probably you'll take the latter view and uh, you know watch it at more appealing hours um, that would be my take on it um a lot of people also asking me about what i'm gonna do for wrestlemania is is the podcast gonna do anything uh special like or, or wrestle line in general i've been thinking about it and and to be honest with you because everything is changing daily it's very difficult to make future plans here but as it stands now um i will definitely I, i've definitely been considering doing like um a watch along podcast but um possibly with like another guest the special guest on the show just to watch wrestlemania with me um and watch it through just kind of like uh you know talking over it type of thing that could be pretty cool but um it's difficult because like just everything is just changing every day so we don't really know how all this is going to work but that is my that's my um sort of early um status with that if you will but obviously i'll be doing the uh, daily podcast up and towards wrestlemania so don't worry about that too much um okay other bits and pieces now AEW still um obviously doing um their shows at the moment how long that's going to last i don't know they may have to take the view that wwe have done and i i would imagine they've pre-taped quite a lot of stuff also the other cool thing with them is they do this um, aw dark which a lot of that people haven't seen so they could replay and air quite a lot of that stuff as well um if need be and um yeah that would be you know a, a a decent view i would imagine um now other things coming up uh, i am in the process of just sorting a new channel out on youtube um to do a, a little like retro gaming channel and um very different from other like gaming channels that are out there i don't um in any means uh i'm not as if anyone would have seen my attempts the other day at the scores of uh, on Neon Knights Arcade and Cafe, you would have seen I'm not the ultimate gamer, but I'm definitely a curious one. So um, I've actually titled it that because I just like, I've, I've got like a whole library of video games. I've got retro stuff. I've got just about everything here and merch wise. So I thought, you know, in this time at the moment, I might as well put something together and uh, see how, it kind of works I'll, I'll put a few videos out and see how it goes so um when that's available i'll let you guys know but stay posted to wrestle line instagram and i'll put the link in there um got some great response actually from instagram yesterday from from all you guys so i want to thank you very much for that um okay other news let's have a look so um obviously wrestlemania is the hot topic uh, should it happen will it happen blah 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 I, I definitely think it will happen um no doubt about it roman reigns being out will won't affect it i mean it's going to affect it but i don't think it's at this stage i don't think it's you know really going to be a hit or miss for it i think there's there's much more underlying stuff here coming out of this um for wrestlemania than than just that um, of course, the other things that have been going on very recently as well, just as we sum up this podcast um, in the wrestling is obviously I'm always in contact with a lot of the UK talent, UK wrestlers. Um, and, you know, obviously for a lot of those guys and, and, and girls, it's been very, very difficult, obviously, uh, testing times, not being able to perform. And if this is your sort of like full time gig, there is nothing else to be done. Um, a, well, I did have like a message from somebody, um, like a promoter, saying that they were going to do like a, a show that wasn't going to have a crowd. But then obviously once Monday, Tuesday came about in the UK, yeah, that was kind of like a, a no-go um, completely just due to all the restrictions in place. And, you know, quite rightly. So, um, yeah, testing times. I just think that everybody at the moment is, is adapting to life differently um at the moment in the wrestling stuff and and content can still go out in fact mariah may that i'll have on over the weekend she she does a lot of youtube videos and it'll be kind of cool to to just like you know speak to her about it and, and see how it goes 
um, in that time. Anyway, guys, I am out of time. Um, it's gone really quick, this one.